as for Manatimo. They also play a 4-3-3 system and their formation is on your screens at the minute. Up front, the lone striker, Durley, will be supported by Sammy and Heldon on the left and right hand side. Leonardo Jardivine is spotting his ball boss. He took control in June 2013. Previously, he has managed at Olympiacos, Sporting Braga and Berlimar. And we're going to pause for a moment's silence before kick-off. Silence observed impeccably and kick off almost upon us. One other result this evening, and it is something of a, a shock, really. FC Porto, the champions, could only manage a one all draw away to Belenense. And the champions went 1-0 in front in the 30th minute. Mangala scoring only for the home side to equalise through Jao Pedro. So that will be Sporting to get us going this evening. Sporting Lisbon wearing their traditional green and white hoops and we're underway so the home side playing from right to left Maritimo in the red and green shorts this evening and Sporting starting in an aggressive manner Referee had a good view of that Potential foul, play continues. And Sporting looking to start. Pretty much on the front foot. Here's Carino, he will win a throw in for the home side. player in trouble with only one minute gone it's a defensive midfielder William Carvalho you can see from that replay possibly his right foot his right ankle in fact that's not the player in question and William Carvalho is back to his feet of course the home side come into this fixture after being defeated last Sunday by Porto by three goals to one at the drag out. Chance for Sporting Lisbon to cross the ball here as they try and work an opportunity. Cross comes into a good area and the header is just over the bar. It was, fell to Diego Capel. That was almost the first goal.
Sporting starting this game strongly, it has to be said. It was interesting when I was doing my research before. Maratimo with quite a good record against Sporting Lisbon over the past six games. There's Jao. Goes back to his centre back. And Maratimo will just try and get their foot on the ball and Get a bit of confidence. Maritima went through this fixture in terms of domestic Panana Liga mat matters. Losing the last four games. They were defeated last Sunday by Esteril by three goals to one at home. To the ball for Rui Patricio. And I think the wayside have won a free kick here. Rui Patricio was alert off his line. But the referee has spotted something he didn't like. So a good chance for the wayside to possibly swing the ball into the box here. comes in and a simple save for Patricio, the international goalkeeper for Portugal and the captain for Sporting Lisbon. Marcos Rojo finds Jefferson. Maritimo in no rush to get on with throw-ins and free kicks, etc. this evening. So the visitors preparing to launch the ball into the box here, courtesy of this long throw in. The referee just urges the player to hurry up. The ball will arrive into the box and a free effort of goal, and it's dragged wide of the target. Disappointing shot there. It fell to number 17, Sammy, and well, he should have done much better. piece of skill and Sporting try and switch the ball it's a lovely switch of play Diego Capel lovely first touch takes on his man crosses in towards the back post and the goalkeeper punches cross comes in and Manatimo defending yet again
lovely piece of skill. And the move will break down. Sporting will just hack the ball away. Nice chest control there. And Manatimo getting their foot on the ball and just getting a little bit of possession. Of course, Manatimo, the island side in Portuguese football from Madeira. So they're used to plenty of travelling. Here's Diego Capel, previously off Sevilla in Spain. side being a little bit more patient with the ball now here's Jefferson the left back happy enough to go backwards of course Sporting were defeated for the first time this season in the league last weekend when Porto defeated them by three goals to one Jefferson in possession again. Jefferson has had plenty of the ball in the opening 10 minutes and as we approach the 10th minute. And the referee will award Sporting Lisbon a free kick here and the away side have picked up a yellow card already with not even 10 minutes on the clock. Jalo East picking up that yellow. Sporting will win the ball back again. Here's Jefferson. Gives the ball in field to Adrian Silva. Who tries to play a 1-2. He will eventually get the ball back again. Silva. Silva. Can he find a pass? Looked as if he was fouled there. Referee says no. Shot from distance. And well wide of the target. From William Carvalho. It's a big chance for the opening goal. Patricio does well. Patricio will eventually roll the ball out. And a sloppy pass there. Maritimo will have a throw in far side of the pitch. And we'll see this chance for Maritimo just a few seconds ago. Sammy makes a brilliant pass forwards. And the finish should have been much better. From the number 90 weeks. Ball and it just rolls over the line, and the assistant had a great view of that. Sami plays the ball backwards for Maritain Moat, and they're happy enough just to give the ball back to their goalkeeper to keep possession. 12 minutes on the clock. It's been a 
entertaining enough watch so far. Adrian Silva with a layoff to Marcos Rojo, who in turn finds his fellow centre back, Alec Diar. Jefferson will swing the ball in, and Sporting will have their first corner. Chance to cross. Ball comes in towards the back post and Maritimo defend well. Cross comes into the area again and almost fell. And a centre back who was up the field of play there. Referee wants play to continue and he's refereed this game well so far in my opinion. One thing, play to just continue and of course that helps the flow of the match. It's a lovely ball out towards the right wing. And the cross will come in but it's a disappointing cross. Too much pace on it and too close to the goalkeeper. Of course, last season really was a disappointing campaign for Sporting Lisbon. Well, they did have one positive, that was their Dutch striker, Ricky van Wolfswinkel. Of course, he's moved on to the English Premier League nowadays with Norwich City. But they have got the league's top goal scorer so far this season, the Colombian Freddy Montero. Visiting goalkeeper who's the ground here. Not sure what happened to him. Leona. Not sure how that injury came about. But he's getting treatment anyway. And Leonardo Jardine will take this opportunity to get some messages to his players. Of course, he took control in June this year. Previously, he has managed in Greece with Olympiacos and in Portugal with Sporting Praga and Belémar. Here's Jefferson, gives the ball backwards to Adrian Silva. Makes a smart pass in field. Thought that looked like a free kick. Referee 
Let's play continue. Jefferson chance to cross. Cross comes in and it's, it's a poor and disappointing cross. on the clock and still no goals Sporting probably have had the majority of possession Curry low runs into trouble but the home side will keep it William Carvalho with a layoff finds Eric Adrian Silva with the pass to the near side of the pitch. Jefferson will cross and his cross finds the first line of defence. Yeah, there's foul count. Two fouls each. And Manitima will keep the ball in play. And they cross. And it's helped on. They still have possession through Sammy. Sammy lays the ball off towards the edge of the box. And there's a wild shot. Well over the bar. From the man who's picked up a yellow card. Jefferson with a poor and sloppy touch there, but he battles back well. Carrillo can't play the pass. Jefferson is offside, but Carrillo does well. Finds Adrian Silva, the skies pass forward. Silva with a terrible effort. Maritimo do look quite organised on the edge of the area, and they are restricting Sporting Lisbon to shots from that type of range and so far Sporting have been very poor from that type of distance. switch play Diego Capel will float the ball in and it's easy defending really for the away side so far this season Sporting Lisbon terms of the league well they are the league's top goal scorers 20 goals for them with only seven conceded leaving them a, a plus goal difference of 13 as for the visitors Maritimo have scored on 11 occasions they've conceded 16 so minus five goal difference chance to cross Jefferson crosses Carillo comes inside continues his run 
He struggled to keep the ball in play. He does keep it in play, and it's a poor layoff. As Jefferson didn't have much room to cross there. Credo battling, and that's a simple free kick out. Midway through this first half. Sporting trying to get control of the ball in midfield as William Garvalio will play the ball back to Eric Dier. He plays the ball forward to Adrian Silva. Silva hasn't really got on the ball too much this evening. Jefferson with the pass forward. Lovely dink over the top. Cross comes in. And well, simple save for Leone who rolls the ball out. The cross came in earlier here. He have led to a good opportunity for Sporting to score, but the ball was sort of lifted into the area. Needed to have more pace on it. If he didn't see that as a foul. Timo this evening are certainly up for a battle. We haven't came for this arena to roll over. So this game with 25 minutes gone, yet really to get going. Diego Capel will keep the ball in play. Swings the ball in and another simple clearance for the visiting side. The action kicked off in Portugal on Friday evening. And Benfica won by three goals to nil. That's a lovely pass forward. And well, Freddy Montero. It's unbelievable to see him not hitting the target. He is the league's top goal scorer this season. And incredibly, it was a poor effort from him. Should have done better. And a lovely disguised pass from Adrian Silva and Montero doesn't even hit the target. Sammy I'm playing a good bit of pressure for Maritimo there. Sporting have a man down here and they will just kick the ball out of play.
Ronald Montero, the top goal scorer in the league with nine. In comes Jackson Martinez with seven of Porto. Shot from distance and there's the opening goal. A fine finish from Diego Capel. The goalkeeper had absolutely no chance. And Sporting Lisbon go 1-0 up. That is an absolute sensational strike from Capel. Must have been the guts of 30 yards from goal. And the home side go 1-0 up. Diego Capel celebrates in style and celebrate in style he deserves to what a strike it was uh, Leone the Maritimo goalkeeper well, he just couldn't get down to it So the league's top goal scorers are at it again. Before a ball was kicked tonight, they had put the ball in the net on 20 occasions. Of course, they've added to that tally and they've got a one nil lead. So almost a half hour played. Maritimo. Oh, We'll have a bit of work to do. Yeah. And sporting has a player on the ground here. Cedric, Cedric the right back, fitting the effects of that challenge. There's a replay of the goal. Diego Capel picks the ball up and fires perfectly into the bottom right corner. The ball always going away from the goalkeeper. comes in and it's flicked on by the number 17 Sammy. In fact it was the centre back. Number three, Mauricio Rosario. There's plenty of action tomorrow in the Primera Liga. Arisha will entertain the team at the bottom of the pile. Pashos de Ferrara at well. Mentioning Pashos, what a season they have had. It's been a complete reverse to last season. They are bottom of the league. And they look a completely different club to last season. Also tomorrow, Estoril will host Vitoria Setubal Nacional. 
welcome Ola Hanse and Gil Vicente will host Fratorio Victoria Guimaraes and the late game tomorrow Sporting Braga who are struggling it has to be said they host Rio Ave so a chance for the away team here via this free kick and their number five looks as if he will take this Ruben Ferreira can he get his side back in this game we're about to find out Patricio lines up as well. Concentration on Ruben Ferreira's face. Here is the free kick. Oh, what a free kick. It's absolutely sensational. And we're all square, square here. Really, Patricio with no chance. The goals in this game have been absolutely top notch. And Sporting Lisbon are now level. It's one apiece. So Pedro Martins looks onward. And his side are right back in this match. Of course, Pedro Martins took control of Maritimo in September 2010. So he's been with the club for a good time period now. What a fine goal that was from the left back, Ruben Ferreira. season's goal scoring charts Maratimo have a player up there, it's a Brazilian forward Derle he's got six goals three behind Freddy Montero here's Jefferson the left back plays the ball up the line and Sporting well I thought they had won the throw in and it's gone the other way in fact Ten minutes to the break. Two goals in this first half of absolute sublime quality. Here's Sammy for Maritimo. Patricio will let that one run. Of course, Patricio, the Portuguese international goalkeeper, has got a very important international fixture coming up soon as Portugal try and qualify for the next World Cup. That equaliser for Maritimo really has dumping the spirits here the home fans were in fine voice uh, the home side have it all to do again as a poor cross comes in there and it's easy pickings for Leone the visiting goalkeeper
here's Jefferson. Good chance to cross. Cross comes in and Manatimo just heading the ball out for a sporting Lisbon throw. Another lovely opportunity to cross, and Maritimo will just hack the ball away. Whistles and jeers from what the referee gave there. The local fans not happy. that it's a good sliding challenge from the goalkeeper who's a long way off his line but makes a good clearance down the field of play should be back in his goal by this stage and here's Vitor Jefferson comes bombing forwards Jefferson with the cross and Sporting will have a corner Vitor runs into trouble and possibly a chance for Maritimo on the counter attack here. They do have red shirts bombing forwards and the pass is just too weak. There's the latest ball possession stats. Those stats. A good indication of how this game has went. The home side basically in control. Thought it was a fine free kick from Ruben Ferreira. Which makes the scoreline one apiece. Half time not too far away. on down the line and Sporting will just hack the ball away here's Adrian Silva lovely passer of a football he's back in possession clips the ball down the line good running from Andre Carinho an advantage for Sporting Lisbon this season well maybe not sure if you can call it advantage but they have no European distractions so they can concentrate on a very healthy league campaign and they currently sit in third position and here they come can they score before half time bit of a fumble there from the only buddy 
he gathers himself and rolls the ball out towards his right back. Of course, Benfica won 3 0 yesterday evening. Sporting has won three points behind them and six points behind the champions, Porto, who sit top of the pile. And Jefferson picks up a yellow card. So I was. Well, when you see that, it probably was inside the area. So Malatimo with a glorious chance to take the lead before the break. We're about to find out if they will. Massive incident in this game. And they do take the lead. Malatimo have a shock lead. Just before the half-time whistle. Like for that man and shot there, Pedro Martins, although he's not showing it. And it's a number 10, Heldon. He was cool over that penalty kick. And you see the replay, I think the referee has got it correct. And Heldon. Just waits for the goalkeeper to make a decision and he just slots his penalty, more or less, straight down the middle. So three minutes off additional time at the back end of this first half for Sporting Lisbon to try and respond. It's been a game packed with incident. As I mentioned before kick-off, I know it's only, only roughly halfway through the game. But in the last six meetings in all competitions, Maritimo did boast a very good head-to-head -head record with Sporting Lisbon. A nice pass forwards. Here's Jefferson. He will keep the ball in. Jefferson swings in. And Manateimo defend with the Israeli. Chance for Sporting before the break. And a fantastic save from Leone. Does well to smother the ball. This game has been a sensational watch. And Sporting almost could have equalised before half-time through. The number 17, Freddy Montero and then Andre Carrillo. cross and it's a simple save for Leone. Did he step behind? Claims that he did. I don't think that was the case and half time is almost upon us. Fans appealing that Diego Capel was caught in the mouth there. 
There is the half time whistle. This has been a game which is produced from start to finish. Very eventful game. As we see this possible challenge on Diego Bell, and he was elbowed from the number five, Ruben Ferreira. Clearly was elbowed. But the referee didn't do anything about it. And then the goalkeeper may have carried the ball in here. His feet were over the line, I'm not sure the ball was. But the opening 45 minutes have produced three goals and plenty of incident. So at half time it's Sporting Lisbon 1, Maratimo 2.
Good evening and welcome back to the Stadio Jose Avalad and Sporting Lisbon Trio. Now the team will buy two goals to one. First half which exploded with goals and plenty of incident. And we're about to begin this second half. Today's match official ready and we're underway again. So Maritimo will get us going in this second half. Maritimo playing from right to left in the red shirts and green shorts. The home side in their traditional green and white hoops. Here's Eldon, and now he scored the penalty just before the break. Here come the home side, Diego Capel, who got the opening goal. Sporting trying to start this second half with a bang. That's a poor defensive header. Montero was in there jumping and Maratimo will just hoof the ball away. Out for a throw in. So far this season for Maritimo, will they certainly have put the ball in the net. Their biggest victory was when they defeated Victoria Setchabal by four goals to two on their travels. Their biggest defeat is when they travelled to FC Porto at the Dragao and Porto beat them by three goals to nil. As for Sporting Lisbon, their biggest victory well, it was an absolute crushing of the new boys. Arusha, Sporting Lisbon, defeated Arusha by five goals to one. Their biggest defeat was last weekend because they've only been defeated once. FC Porto beating Sporting Lisbon by three goals to one. Held in there, looks full of pace. Cedric doing the sensible thing and just putting the ball behind for a corner kick. But Heldon certainly had the better off the right back. Corner played in deep and Sally won the header, but Rui, Rui Patricio will have a goal kick. Rui Patricio had no chance with the opening goal. It's a fine free kick if you're just joining us from the left back, Ruben Ferreira. Deflected shot and Sporting will have a corner. Adrian Silva letting fly from distance there. Shot from distance, uh, just over the bar. 
from the sub who's just came on to the field of play at half time. Wilson Eduardo. Of course, Wilson Eduardo was signed in the summer. It's not the worst effort. Obviously, he was with Academica. He's been around plenty of Portuguese clubs. He's only 23 years of age. Last season at Academica, he scored on six occasions. He scored twice so far this season for Sporting Lisbon. So he is a player, an attacker, who knows where the goal is. Of course... In the field of play this evening, plenty of nationalities about for both clubs. Of course, Portuguese football certainly does have a South American feel. And that's demonstrated this evening as Marcos Rojo plays the ball forward for Sporting Lisbon. Diego Capel with the layoff. Can they build something and get right back in this game? Ferreira plays the ball down the line, but it's intercepted with ease. Pretty good atmosphere in the ground this evening. As Martin will win possession in midfield, here's Heldon. Heldon will take on his man, comes inside. And a poor pass from him in the end. Lovely disguise pass, big chance for the equaliser. Another great save from Leone. Really an open game this. Good advert for the Primera Liga. No doubt about it. Number 17 there, Freddy Montero. He was clearly onside, but he hasn't been great tonight, the Colombian striker. Had a good chance in the first half, he should have scored. Of course, he is the league's top goal scorer, so possibly not a man to write off. so far this season Maritimo with only seven points from eight games not a great return here's Alex Suarez lovely layoff to his centre midfield teammate
Here's Vitor. Gives the ball in Finn. Adrian Silva. Nice pass from Silva. And Matero just runs into trouble. The referee tells him to get back to his feet. fell to Heldon. Heldon took his penalty very well. So far this season, Maritimo, well, they've played eight matches. They've won twice, they've drawn one, and they've been defeated five times. They've scored 11 goals, which is impressive. However, they have conceded 16. But 11 goals isn't a bad return. When you look at the league table and see them in 13th position, other teams... In that area have scored 8, 10, 5, 4 and 5 so quite a healthy start in terms of goal scoring for Maritimo as they try and help the ball down the near side of the pitch Great feet there. Cross will come in and it's a, it's a disappointing cross in truth. But Jefferson deals with it for Sporting Lisbon and the home side will have a goal kick. Shield called into action again. There is the goal scorers on your screen, Diego Capel with a fine effort. And Maratimo equalised through a sensational free kick from Ruben Ferreira and Heldon scored a penalty just before the half time whistle. Cross into a decent area on a fine save there. There's a good header from Freddy Montero, but the man in the Maritimo goal, he's having an absolute blinder. We'll see the replay of that save. Sporting Lisbon again. Cross comes in and the right side under the pump a bit in the last five get minutes. But they've won a free kick out here and a chance to relieve the pressure. Of course, Sporting Lisbon, they've started this season oh so well. Last season it was a different story. Sporting Lisbon finished the 2012 2013 campaign in seventh position, which is that's a very poor final position for a club of their stature. Of course, Sporting Lisbon have won the Primera Liga on 18 occasions 
most recently they won it in the 2001 2002 season they won the Portuguese Cup on 15 occasions the Super Cup 7 times Here's Vitor. So the hour mark on the clock. And then sporting trail by two goals to one. The game well poised at the minute. What a chance that was for Montero. The camera and he went to the shot very late, but Montero, as we'll see from the replay, another glorious chance for him. The ball was cut back from Diego Capel and he should have found the bottom left corner. And maybe it may not be sporting this bombs night. Montero lays the ball off to Diego Capel. Now previously off Sevilla in Spain. One of that Sevilla side which won back to back UEFA Cups. Daniel Alaves was there at the time. So he was Jesus Navas back to live play and sporting. Claiming for a handball there. So Sporting with a free kick here and a chance to swing the ball in as they have just made a self-vetor. Replaced by Islam. And Jefferson will cross this. So Jefferson with plenty of red and white shirts to aim at and it will drop to William Carvalho. Claims for a handball. Referee says no. Referee had a good view of it to be fair. But the home fans frustrated. And the player, well, he had his hands behind his back. I think it did strike the elbow of an opponent. He had so little time to get his hands out of the way. Maratimo making a change here. And naturally, they are in no rush to get the player who is going off off the field of play. Weeks, number 90. His time is up. And Danilo Pereira will get some time on the pitch. Just under half an hour. 
as Maritimo swing the ball in and an effort at goal there. Never going to trouble Rui Patricio. Up next for these sides in terms of Premier League action. Sporting Lisbon will travel to Victoria Guimaraes. That will be on Sunday the 24th as they throw the ball into the box. Trying to get it out towards the left side of the pitch. As for Maritimo, on Sunday the 24th, Maritimo will host Gil Vicente. Gil Vicente going well in the minute, currently in fifth position with 14 points. Of course, Porto drew one apiece earlier this evening, and that would have delighted Benfica and Sporting Lisbon fans. Benfica only three points behind Porto now. And if Sporting were to turn this around, they would only be three points behind the champions, Porto also. Of course, there's work to do before that can happen. Here comes Sporting. Ball will it be kept in play. They've won a corner. Jefferson bombs forward on the left wing. Jefferson, the Brazilian left back. He picked up a yellow card tonight. But he has got forward as much as he possibly can. Ball will be crossed again and it's a fair enough cross. Wilson Eduardo will just lay the ball off for a teammate. On my traffic at the minute. Header comes in and there is the equaliser. It's game on for Sporting Lisbon. And it's a man who has just came on to the field of play. The sub. Slimani celebrates. And he's not long on the field of play. And he's got the breakthrough. It was a great cross on the number nine rose to head into the bottom right corner. Very much game on now. And his header just going in off the post such was its accuracy Islam Slamani from Algeria of course he's played for Sporting Lisbon seconds he's made four appearances for the first team and that's his first goal for Sporting Lisbon So Sporting with a free kick here and another chance to swing the ball into the box. This game is developing into a classic. Jefferson crosses. And Maratimo came for a handball there. In fact, they were coming for an offside. And they've got defending to do here. There was a current corner count. Maritimo in possession through Heldon. Heldon full of pace. Finds a good pass. Sammy tries to cross and it's blocked by the sporting defender.
the last meeting between these sides was in February last season when Maritimo defeated Sporting Lisbon at this very ground by one goal to nil. Plenty of goals scored tonight. Here's Diego Capel crossing with his left foot. Twenty minutes remaining. Well, we set up for a grand stand finish. Sporting have the ball yet again. Shot from distance. And well wide of the target now in truth. style environment here tonight for the referee and for the visiting team they're really under pressure and the home fans are cheering and claiming for everything from a sporting Lisbon point of view Timor about to make a change here. And it's a player who picked up a yellow. Early on in the game, Ja Luis. Ja Luis has been replaced by Arthur. And we'll see if Arthur can affect the result of this match. create something it's on the far side of the pitch and Manatimo will win the ball back it's just came in with the play. Artur and tries to go past Adrian Silva Shot from distance, and well wide of the target from Danilo. Goal scoring wise for Sporting Lisbon this season, Montero, he's got nine. And then the rest of the goals are shared out really. Andre Carino was two, Wilson Eduardo was two, and Adrian Silva has two goals. Here's Wilson Eduardo. Floats the ball into a great area. Wolves are to push in the back, and the referee's given the penalty, I think, for a foul on Montero. And the red card has been issued. And the players telling the referee what he thinks of him. And number two, Joe Diogo, has been sent off.
What a game of football. Packed full of incident. And a man who has the responsibility of taking this penalty kick is Adrian Silva. So Adrian Silva. Here he goes. And he scores. Sporting Lisbon. Take the lead. Sends a goalkeeper the wrong way and the home side really have had to work to get in front in this game again. This game has been quite the spectacle. Adrian Silva, that's his third league goal this season. Shot there, the visiting goalkeeper. He's been very good this evening, I felt. The only he's produced some splendid saves at stages, but his team are currently being defeated by three goals to two. Pick up a booking there. Number 17. The league's top goal scorer. She's here. Rosario will also pick up a caution. That's a lovely way to pass and number five Ruben Ferreira helps the ball down the line to try and find Heldon. Twelve minutes remaining. Plus stoppage time. Ruben Ferreira will take the throw in here. Ruben Ferreira who scored the second goal of the game. A great free kick from the edge of the area. Ruben Ferreira crosses and he will win a corner. Terms of the Primera Liga this season. A difficult start for Sporting Braga who currently sit in 8th position. The live play here there was. Maratimo have a corner kick. And the official saves that on the line. And Sporting score another and Millie Cement. All three points. And that will be a yellow card. Cards totally flowing tonight. Of course, we've seen a red card also. A red card for Jao Diogo, and the latest person to have picked up a yellow is Sami, the captain for Maritimo.
So far this season, Sporting Lisbon have picked up 17 points. Eight points one at home and nine on their travels. Cross will come in and it almost finds a number nine. It finds Wilson Eduardo and it does find a number nine. And he doesn't score when it seemed easier to score. He puts the ball wide. Speed for 90 minutes. Diego Capel gets a standing ovation. His goal, but the goal's flowing tonight. He's about to be replaced by the number 36 Mane, Carlos Mane, to get some game time. piece of skill there. He's got a team who will try and work the ball up the pitch. Here's Heldon. It's a simple pass to Sami. Possession given away cheaply. Sporting can score another. Mane goes past one and then is brought to the ground. And that will be a yellow card I'm sure. Carlos Mane onto the pitch and you can see what he's trying to do and the yellow card will appear to Alex Suarez Confirmation of that yellow. Seven minutes plus stoppage time remaining. There's Adrian Silva. Thinks about his options here over this free kick. Shoots is the option. It wasn't him, it was the number five, the centre back. But he can't keep his effort down. Fantastic advert for the Portuguese Primera Liga. Sort of goals and incident. Across the end of the back post area. Knocked down header and it almost falls to Montero. Freddy Montero. He might not be done yet. Here comes Heldon for Maritimo on the counter attack. Heldon drops the shoulder. Heldon will win a corner. Of course, Heldon from the Cape Verde Islands. 24 years of age. And this is his fourth season with Maritimo. Scored two goals last season. And four goals the season before that.
Sporting Lisbon, the team who have scored the most goals so far this season. And they've scored a further three tonight. It's a lovely pass forwards. Shot comes in, and I think the home goalkeeper, Rui Patricia, who always knew it was going wide from the number 17, the captain, Sammy. Sammy from Guinea-Bissau. He's scored once this season. Scored six times last season, and five times the season before that. 24 years of age. Marcos Rojo pleads with the referee. But the referee's made his decision. Portuguese clubs will be involved in midweek Champions League action. Benfica, they travel to Greece to play Olympiacos. And the FC Porto, they will travel to Zenit to play Zenit St. Petersburg. Cross comes in and Sporting Lisbon having to do a bit of defending here. The right side will have a corner. Happy enough for play to continue. Here comes the corner. Into a crowded area. Well, they thought they had the throw, and so did I, but Sporting will have the throw in. And Jefferson, he's a no rush to take it. Jefferson, which is if he's going to throw up the line, does go up the line. There's the latest ball possession starts. Sporting with most of the ball, 64% of possession. So Sporting have had to do this the hard way tonight. Of course, they led in the 28th minute. Diego Capel with a great strike. Only for Ruben Ferreira to score a great free kick in the 34th minute. The console out, Capel's goal. And just before half time, Heldon scored a penalty for Maritimo to give the visitors a 2 1 lead at half time. And then the sub for Sporting his ball. Zamani scored in the 67th minute on Adrian Silva. Scored a penalty in the 76th minute for the home side to give Sporting Lisbon the lead. Ball played over the top. Ball San Eduardo can we get on the end of it. And he would have given away a foul. minutes have been played and there will be three additional minutes as Montero wins the ball for the home side so three minutes for Sporting Lisbon to hold on and for him to score another
Look back handball. Uh, Sporting will have a free kick far side of the pitch. So only two minutes left. And three points will go the way of the home side. FC Porto to three points. The game's not over yet. Spurring are forced to do a bit of defending. Good free point from Wilson Carvalho. It's a simple pass forwards to Montero. Freddy Montero continues his run down the line and will get the ball back again. Montero, was he fouled? And the free kick has went the other way in fact. Uh, Leonardo Jardim tries to get Montero back behind the ball. Seconds left for Martino to try and salvage a point. Jefferson will just hammer the ball. And the field of play. Brazilian. He's in a good game. He's got forward plenty tonight. And Arthur. And it's down the line. Finds Heldon. Heldon, what can he do? Step overs. Crosses into a good area. Oh, there is a referee here. And there is a full.